It's another day, another Target slay. We are going to Target today. I got my new evil eye earrings to ward off any evil eye, and I think it works. I don't know if it's just like, when you don't like see it, it doesn't exist, but I also think these work, these work because I have not seen any negativity. And I really feel like if you just don't like pay attention, like it just doesn't exist. So I think it's a combination of the earrings and like, don't acknowledge it, don't exist. I love this target, there's no music. I can vlog, Oh, it's blessing today. I'm trying to see if they have a Stanley Cup. I don't think I see it, but they do have different cups. Let's go check out Starbucks. It's actually so crowded today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, right, we'll go to Starbucks after. I have to focus on. They have these little fishbowl drinks I saw on TikTok in the five dollar section, but I haven't seen them. They have them here. I'm so excited. They're five dollars. <laughs> that is a win. Okay, it's taking me all my might not to get all of them, but I did get two. These are literally the cutest things ever. I can't believe they have them here. They didn't have them before. All right, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. Okay, so I have this in pink and I wear it all the time. So I got it in beige. It's not like, I don't know, to me it's just like a very, very casual everyday outfit. So it just feels a little more put together than like wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I mean, it's not like the most exciting outfit, but oh, these look comfy. There's so many new clothes here already. Ah. Oh. And so many new colors. Look at this watermelon color. These shorts look so comfortable. Oh my gosh, are they soft? Oh, they're not as soft as they look. Oh, but there's shorts underneath. All right, let's see. Cause I think there's if there's short. Oh, there are shorts underneath. That makes it really cool. All right, I think I'll get this. I think I like the watermelon color, but I think I'm gonna get the blue. I'm actually going to go ahead and get the watermelon too because they did have my sizes and if I like the blue, I'll be like, oh, I should have gotten it in watermelon, so. We walk a lot and it's getting so hot, like so hot, and I just don't have any shorts that really like fit well, but um, these have the spandex underneath, so it doesn't chafe, so. Alright, they have so many new things here. I'm overwhelmed. When I come to Target, I'm just like, Okay, this aisle I'm in, this is like a home aisle or something. Never anybody in this aisle. I haven't even been to this aisle until like a couple times at all. Oh. So we got the Ariel one, but who's this little pink haired lady? Oh, they got some new sisters. Pretty. We got the Halle Bailey one, but we haven't gotten, wow, these tails look so pretty. I love it, I love this pink hair. I think we have to see the movie for me to like get into all the like side characters. Oh my god, this is so cute. <gasps> for laundry. It says find your voice. Oh, I might have to get this. How much is it? There's no tag on this one. There's one behind it though. Literally so cute. Okay, even for toys. I don't know how much this is. There's a tag on this one. Are we just like not seeing it? Is that it down there? 20, there's like so many numbers, like 22, 53, 70. I think this is a must because you can also put toys in there. I thought it was like a laundry bin, but I think it's also good for toys, so. Okay, love that so much. Okay, this might be my hottest take yet, but Pepsi is better than Coke. Don't at me. Um, I always have a target. And they have the Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry. I love it. Every time I think of Pepsi, I think of Britney Spears. So she's like, my favorite kind of Pepsi. Pepsi's Pepsi. But they were talking maybe about like Diet Wild Cherry. Back in the day, they had Lemon Twist. I used to love those Pepsi commercials. They had Donnie Marie and Ozzy Osbourne. So it's like the Osmonds versus the Osbournes. Obviously, Britney with her Pepsi commercials too were so iconic, but I love Pepsi. <laughs> I wish they would serve it more places. I feel like Pepsi got a bad rap somewhere along the way, but y'all know like Pepsi, there's that new generation, Pepsi, um, for those who think young. The quietness of a Target on a weekday is just so peaceful, 
so calming. Ben and Jerry's edible cookie dough. Snackable cookie dough. Do I need this? No. Do I want it? Yes. Ooh, I'm going home right after this. So usually I don't buy freezer stuff because usually I have like multiple errands, but this is great. I know it's my time. This is my cart, by the way. Not too bad. Not too bad. Get that Pepsi, that mermaid. But I also think like it's time to go when I can't carry all this stuff. Like, look, I have a great husband. Um, he helps me carry things in, but I think I just need some chapstick. Oh, I wanted to look at their hair clips. It's watermelon season. Watermelons are too heavy. I love them. My husband buys them though because, oh my God, Britta. Britta water bottles. What happened to the Stanley Cups, man? Oh, maybe they're up here. No, they'd be in the Starbucks section. Hmm. Stanley Cups are kind of everything. <sighs> no one tell me I'm out of breath. I know I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape my entire life. I've been out of shape. This is nothing new. Ooh, this looks like water. I just would like this. This looks like his water art, kind of. It's really pretty, actually. Yelling Pepsi generation. I was watching Britney's behind the scenes of that. Oh, my purse is in the cart. Oh, not. Okay, people leave their purse like this, and then they wonder why people steal it. I just like my eyes just go everywhere in Target. I just get so happy in here. I don't, I don't know how to explain it anyways. Their home section though, they could really do more here. I think Moses should have his own furniture in a Target. Moses Huffman Furniture Designs, because everyone who comes to our house is always shocked when they like learn Moses makes furniture. <laughs> They're like, wait, he built this table? He built this couch? And I'm like, yeah, he's actually so good. And the thing is, is it's like expensive because it's like oversized and it's like luxury and it's custom and all that. But you gotta find the right manufacturer and you can mass produce it. Oh, there's some clips over there. Okay, I am like, I haven't been down this journal aisle in so long. Oh, I love it, look. So many beautiful journals. Oh, I love this, I love the mindful one. I'm all about mindfulness. Oh, a guided journal. Oh, I love that. I have a really, that's kind of nice. Daily prompts. You know what, I kind of love this. I am gonna get this because I have a gratitude journal, but nothing with prompts like this. This is cool. Oh my gosh, yes. I love this so much. Make your own magic. Absolutely, yes, 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 okay. Journal section totally slit. Oh my gosh, this gives me anxiety. A chore list. No, thank you. No, thank you. So, I just got a 24 hour request on Cameo. I'm gonna put my makeup on today. I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna put my makeup on today. Every time I get a 24 hour request, I like have to do it. Like, I'm just like, I need to. I haven't let anyone down on Cameo yet. I've done 175 Cameos in a row and I haven't missed one. So, I feel like the pressure is on. I actually upped my price because I kind of felt bad. Like, I didn't think I was gonna get to everybody. And so, I was like, let me just like up it a little bit. And there's still so many and I'm so appreciative. Um, but, but I'm able to like spend more time and like focus on each one as opposed to the other ones. I always spent like two to three minutes on them, but, um, yeah, so I gotta go home and do my makeup, but I am looking for pregnancy test. Not that I think, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I don't think oh, I need chapstick too. I don't think I'm pregnant this month. And in fact, we had said to, we were gonna maybe wait a couple months before we, you know, get help because we were like actively trying for a while, you know, like clocking the ovulation day. Where are the pregnancy tests? Oh, clocking the ovulation days and stuff. But this month we were really, really, like, I didn't even look at my ovulation calendar. It was really nonchalant, like sporadic. Um, we just got busy and also if you're trying to get pregnant, it can be exhausting clocking and getting excited and thinking that's the one, especially in April. We had like such a fun time, if you know what I mean, like trying to get pregnant. So, um, but we didn't and it was like really disheartening. So this month has been very casual and we said we were going to wait like a couple months before we like, you know, seek out actual help to get pregnant if we need to. Um, we're not like, so I'm going to keep here. Oh, I'm like squatting for no reason. We're not like um, 
we, we love like the Chinese zodiacs. Like I'm a dragon, he's a snake. Next year after February 10th will be a dragon. Right now we're in year of the bunny. I love the bunny or the rabbit. Um, I have like a rabbit purse from Bloomingdale's that they came out with. So I'm not like opposed to a rabbit, but if we wait like another month, we'll get a dragon, which is what I am. Look, what's meant to be will be. If we're meant to have a rabbit, we'll have a rabbit. But I'm already thinking like dragon. That's what we're already thinking in our heads. Cause like we have a lot of dragon stuff at our house. So if I was pregnant right now, it would be year of the rabbit more than likely, unless it was like really late. So again, I don't, think I am I don't anticipate that I am but you know I always like to just have these tests on hand just in case they're fun to take when you like think there's a possibility so I like the ones that just straight up say pregnant <laughs> um but I think we could get a couple other ones first response to six days sooner um, but like I said, I'm probably going to be a couple months before we actually like seek help to get pregnant if we need to, like we did the first time with the HSG test, but, um, but who knows? Sometimes when you're like not planning, they say it happens. And I, again, in our head, we're thinking dragon because we have like a bedazzled, we get lots of tiger stuff for Malibu, which is more near the tiger. So we have the dragon, bedazzled dragon ready. And then the following year would be the snake, which is also Moses. So in our planning world, which if anyone who has kids knows, nothing goes as planned really. Um, but in our planning world, if we have a dragon, like early dragon, which would be like March, April of next year, then have like a later snake, which would be like around the holidays, like a Christmas baby would be really cool. Um, so then they're all kind of spread out. We have like a spring baby, a fall baby, and a winter baby. Um, but nothing ever really goes to plan when you're planning. So we leave it up to God and um, just go by that. But yeah, it's always fun to buy pregnancy tests. And it's fun when you're trying because it's almost like playing the lottery. It's like, oh, is it this month? Do we win this month? Um, and even if you don't win, it's always fun to keep trying, so. Okay, get some chapstick, because Navido gummies. I love how everything is like gummy format now. I'm here for it. I love Tums. I want a Tums sponsorship. Tums is my favorite thing in the whole world. I have 5,000 of them. But here's chapstick. Pink lemonade lip butter. That sounds so delicious. I'm so gonna get that. This one. Oh, they have them down here, too. I get these as well. Well, cherry slushy and US. Okay, I'm just gonna for a hair clip. I'm gonna just browse my section one more time. Oh, the girls' dresses for Little Mermaid are so cute. I don't think she's gonna fit into those yet. Little girls' clothes at Target are so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to go in this section with her. Look at that pink dress back there. Seriously, the cutest clothes. I love Target. Target is, Target is life. Target is everything. All right, this is the final part. Not too bad, not too bad. There's like literally nothing in there. I want you all to be like super, super honest with me right now. You will not hurt my feelings and I hope I don't hurt anyone's feelings um, out there because it's not intended that because I've had adult acne literally my whole life. Like literally my whole life, I've always had acne. Like I didn't have it too bad as a teenager. It kind of started actually when I was an adult, like 18. Is me enjoy, I guess but I always have like bad skin and then like bad acne as an adult and even though people love to like hate on my ASMR skin and it still sells really well um a lot thanks to Amazon a lot thanks to my ASMR video it has like half a million views of me unboxing it I guess it's just a relaxing video um so I actually like, don't even need to promote it but we still sell it ASMRskin.com it's very very popular on Amazon because the thing is it like it works like I use these products on my skin all the time and so I had a couple breakouts um, I had my makeup done the other day and just by someone that I like knew and it's fine you know but sometimes with different products or anything it could break out my skin so my skin broke out like a little bit um, but I was always really self-conscious about my acne because I would always look at it. So now I have like one spot and here's the thing. When I had a bunch of acne, I wasn't as self-conscious cause there was so much of it. So I would just like either cover it up or just be like, that's my face. When there's one, I feel like you just like stare at it. So like when I'm looking at myself now, I feel like all I'm doing is staring at this. Um, so let me know if you guys like 
are distracted when someone has it on or you like just don't care because like here's the thing normally i like don't care at all but it is hard when you're like talking to someone and not like oh this is gonna sound so bad i know this sounds so bad and it's it's not meant to be because you guys know i have i've had pimples my whole life but it is like it's not that hard to stare, but you feel bad because you know the person's like self-conscious about it. And like if you're looking at their face and like they have a big pimple on it, like you do kind of like look at it. And like there's just nothing you can do when you have a pimple, you have a pimple and I have a pimple and yes, I could cover it up or whatever. But like, is there a way to avoid like avoiding it, I guess? Like, you know, not being so obvious because someone, you know, I could be like, if I sat down and I try not to do this, like I try not to do this. I'm going to pop open a Pepsi because it's kind of cold, actually. Not cold outside, but cold Pepsi. And I haven't had one of these in so long. So I'm just going to pop this open real quick if you don't mind. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, how do you make it, like, not obvious? Or, like, if I sat down and I was like, sorry, I have a big zit on my face, right? People do say that. They're like, oh, my God, yeah, I have a huge pimple. Okay, do you say, like, oh, it's not that bad. I didn't notice. Or are you like, eh, it happens to all of us. Like, what would you say in that situation? Because I used to be that person. Like, I know I'm so fat right i would say that in like a situation and it makes people uncomfortable because like one they can't say like no you're not two they're gonna be like you can't say it's okay it doesn't matter and three it's like no like i didn't notice like any response is just like weird and fake and not real so one i stopped saying that because that's just like not good energy to be around who wants to be around someone who's always like complaining about their looks right um or apologizing for the way they look and i really try my hardest not to even on video i try not to like complain if i'm feeling insecure about my weight um because it's just like not a vibe you know there's plenty of people just happy with their weight and then like you hear something like that and it kind of just it could trigger that person you know because it maybe it's taking them a long time to be happy with their whatever also it's just like not the vibe right like you just want to like okay if you, if you if you're uncomfortable being fat then lose weight right that's everyone's mentality although it's like not that easy but you know i try i really try not to be that way um Cause it just it just makes it makes it a lot awkward. So, anyways, with the pimple, what would you say if someone's like, "Yeah, I've got a big zit on my face," are you like, "Whatever, it doesn't matter," or "Can't notice it," where, or it's not that bad? Like, what would you say? I don't know. Let me know. Anyways, this is all to say I would never say it. Now I'm saying it about this pimple. All right, cheers. Mm. Wow, it's literally. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I don't care what anyone says. I like diet. I like the taste of diet. Mm hmm Mm. It tastes so good. It like burns your throat in like the best way possible. You know what I don't crave anymore is LaCroix. Never crave it anymore. Used to live for LaCroix. You guys know I was obsessed with LaCroix. And now like I think Moses had one is in here or not in our ranger the other day. He, cause we have like a little fridge of LaCroix and he just popped one open and I was like, you know what? I really don't even crave LaCroix, but I also like the idea of LaCroix. Like it doesn't sound good to me at all. But anyways, oh, <laughs> the guy at Target was like, who's Candace Beck? I'm like, Candace Beck love you. <laughs> he definitely didn't get it. He was definitely older and I was like, oh, it's a show on Netflix. But, um, it's so funny. These shirts are so funny to me. Um, <gasps> I was gonna say something about okay well i'll save it for another video because i feel like i don't i don't even know how long this video is but um anyways okay oh, i'm getting tired not like tired tired like i need a nap just like i have to go home and like do my makeup and stuff so i'm just like trying to think of my day hmm. Mm -hmm. oh and by the way i don't i think it should be up now i think it is oversharing podcast with colleen and trish um is up now the teaser should be up now i will link below that okay if you made it this far i should have said that at the beginning of the video but if you made it this far the teaser is up the first episode is supposed to go up next tuesday it will go up next tuesday for sure um i'm super excited for you guys to see it i see some people already being like oh my god they're already speculating what the podcast will be it is not a drama podcast it's not a drama podcast we are not talking about any other other person's lives or anything it's all about just strictly us and things we love and if we're talking about pop culture it's always like in a positive way so i know all podcasts right now it's very like commentary very that which is like interesting i watch them of course but um that's just not our vibe on this so <laughs> it's just like a silly goofy I, we don't even know what we're doing for real like it's really just like uh, out there and just we just wanted to do something together on like a weekly basis and it's been so much fun i i love colleen i've known her for so long i've always loved her 
when she became a mom you know it's it's a, it's a weird thing when someone becomes a mom you feel very and you don't have children you feel like you can't relate to them at all like oh my gosh you're like a whole mom like oh my gosh you know what i mean and 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 rightfully so your life completely changes your priority changes everything changes when you become a mom and so then when i became a mom it just was nice to have like mom friends we went to her um to macy and wesley's first birthday and we got to meet other moms and we went to like their parties and stuff like that and just friends from malibu and it's just like you just relate more on so many ways in the sense of like hey if you have to cancel plans you're not going to get mad at each other because like you understand it no matter what the situation no matter what the the reasoning is like you get it because things come up all the time as opposed to like a single person including me when i was like single you're just like why why are you flaky why are you making but you get it when you're a parent there's just certain things you guys parent and it's not even like oh my god so much better you know whatever nothing it's just it, there's just totally different like tracks of life if that makes sense before having kids like i just i could not relate to people who had kids and that's the other reason we didn't want this like a, to be like such a mommy podcast because like people who watch us that like don't have kids i don't want it to just all be like about kids and birth and all this stuff like that because like that is a big part of life we talk about it a lot on both of our channels um and the first episode there is a lot about it but i think as episodes continue and we get more in the groove it's more about just like our lives on the weekly and stuff like that and it's just kind of um something new we just wanted to try and start and i i just thought it'd be really fun and we talked about it for so long and it's just like nailing it down and being like we're gonna do this like took a minute but i'm glad we did it and i'm super excited and it's it's inspired me just to be creative and fun i had the most fun shooting the first episode oh my god the most most fun i could go on and on about it but we just are so similar in the things we like and uh, you know dressing up and glamming and like theater and just everything and we're so similar and so different and I just think it's it's I don't know I loved it I had fun who knows if people like it it was chaos the first episode was a little chaos we were all over the place and it might take a minute for us to like again get our groove but um I loved it I loved it it was fun so all right <clears throat> let's go we got um we got lots to do today so all right, I'll see you guys in the next video.